How's it gaming guys? I'm Felda Blacks. Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X4 X's campaign. Uh, we are kind of in the middle of a level where we just fought double. Oh, whoops, you guys aimed. Okay. Uh, we just fought double. He was evil because of course he was. He was so important to the plot and everything. And now we're about to fight general because that's the way it goes. We went down there for Zero's campaign, so let's stick up to up here. Hopefully I'll do okay with all the spikes. Uh, hopefully anyways. Yeah, thank goodness for the um, hovering stuff. It really does make a difference. Oh, uh, I apologize again for my voice. I'm still not feeling super great. I'm still recording this in the same session as the last time, so I have not gotten better since then. <laughs> Which, you know, makes sense. Can you? I love how there's lasers within the big weapon. Like, why would there be lasers in the weapon? Uh, it's silly. Stop being so silly, Mega Man. Uh, I'm gonna make this. Oh, oh god. Well, that was fine. I'd rather take damage from these little guys than that giant pink laser. And that was it. So we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Kill you guys before I heal up. Alright, well, there, whatever. Uh, and get on uh, Twin Slasher, which is General's Weakness. And there we go. And that's where we would have come up from if we were going the lower, the lower area. So we, at least we got to see both of those. <laughs> General is a lot easier um, as X because you can attack from far away. Just makes it a lot easier. Hello, General. How are you doing? The oh, higher chair was such a nice chair. General, what are you planning to do? We're going to build a nation for the Reploids. That's our ultimate goal. We'll fight anyone who tries and tries to interfere with our independence. There must be alternative to the, 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 alternative to this mindless fighting. Blah. We were called Mavericks without justifiable reason. What other choice did we have than to fight? But it's too late now. Get ready, X. Yeah, neither side has like power. like a good reason for anything they do. Uh, if he goes up there, he can kind of do what he did with zero and get up onto his uh, onto his uh, arm. We'll just fight. You can still attack him from far, from far away. What we really want to do is actually go behind him. Just stay here a little bit. He'll get hit, but that's fine. I mean, I'm getting hit a lot, actually. Ah, you don't want him to stay up there, though. That's the sucky part. Yeah, I'm doing really badly. Uh, if he's, uh, you want him to come back down, basically. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna die. This, this is crappy. I did so poorly here. Charge up a little bit. Will I even hit? Oh, will. Oh, you know what? Let's take him up from here. Yeah, we're fine. Ah, oh, that didn't hit. Ah, oh, he did that for some reason. Come on. There we go. One more. And there we go. Cool. We still did it. Wow. Um, if he starts moving around, you can just climb the sides and just kind of hang on them and tack them. But uh, I guess when he's up there, you're really, really close to just getting hit all the time. So not the best way to do it. But as you can see, a lot easier just because I can attack from afar. What? What happened? It can't be. This weapon must be malfunctioning. General, what do you mean? Someone else is controlling it. You must hurry, X. The Earth is in danger. All right, I'll stop the weapon myself. There you go, we go. Poor, poor General. Just <laughs> being, basically just being a hunk of, of metal there. Basically a corpse. And we have, the, of course... Oh, right, I forgot we go back down. I love when we come back down to Earth and then go back up there. Like, in Zero's ending, it shows that he had a little spaceship. So we're, like, coming back. I'll stop the weapon. Uh, I'll have to go back to Earth first. I mean, I'm just joking. I know why they do it. So that you can, uh... So that you can, uh... Go to other levels and get anything you might have missed. So I'm, I'm glad they do it, obviously. All right, down we go. And these are all the refights. The refights are gonna be super easy because we have all the weaknesses. So we'll be fine. We'll be fine. All right. Uh... Magma Dragoon. I'll actually use your weakness fully this time. Make you super easy. Blup. His entrance is so funny, he's just blap. And jump. Hit. And jump. Hit. Poor Mavericks. They're so easy. Question of the day. Are there any Mavericks, I, I guess in any Mega Man X game, maybe even in regular Mega Man games, that you purposely don't use the weakness because you find it too easy, that you like fighting them normally, like one-on-one? -on -one? 
Um, I actually really like... I mean, I, I usually fight him first anyways in, in Mega Man 7, but I really like fighting Freeze Man uh, without his weapon. I just think it's a really fun fight. Um, but is there any of them like that for you, or you just you really like the fight regularly and not the fight when you have uh, all the items and stuff like that? I don't know. I don't know if that's, that, uh, that's a thing a lot of people do, but... We're almost filled with sub tanks. Does that do a lot for the weapon tank? Really doesn't. Yeah, I'm never gonna get my weapon tank like fully there. Oh, not a big deal. We've been saying this whole time we have so much energy. Basically infinite. Alright, we get to use um uh twin slash for this guy. Because we didn't have it the first time we fought him. Poor web spider. I always feel bad for the uh the Maverick or Robot Master you fight first, because it's like they must be really crappy and easy. You just go after them right away. Oh, is this not your weakness? Well, it still does a decent amount of damage, I guess. Damn it. Yeah, he doesn't fall into a target. Uh, tar tar sorry, he's saying target. He doesn't even fall into a pattern, which is kind of interesting. I, I thought they all did. But whatever. Pretty cool that he doesn't. Unless this isn't, like, his real weakness. Now I'm wondering. What else could be his weakness? Maybe that... No. No, that's gotta be. It's the only thing that's really... Yeah, left. I guess just good on him. For not falling into a pattern. I mean, it's so easy. I can just blah, 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 over and over again. I mean, I'm still getting hit. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Ah, look over me. Damn, there we go. Glad that hit. <laughs> Smacking buttons. And up we go. There we are. Let's try to stay uh, as full life as possible, I guess. If I can get all my tanks filled up, then cool. Uh, Storm Owl. Storm Owl. Fun boss. I love the designs of Maverick in this game, I will say that. Uh, I don't think there's a single Mega Man X game where the Maverick designs are just bad. There's a couple that aren't amazing, but in terms of just like, man, this this X game, just bad designs overall, I don't think there is one. I think uh, they're not maybe represent, represented well in the game, like X7 and X8, because they try to do the 3D. Uh, the Mavericks don't look very good in the game itself, but their designs themselves are fine in like artwork and stuff. You just don't really get to see a lot of it. go a lot faster than uh, it was zero. These enemies uh, die pretty quickly. That's fine. That's fine. We'll still probably make this in the Sigma fight in the two uh, two episodes, I bet. I guess it also depends if uh, there's a big cinematic the way there was with uh, whoopsie doodles. What's your... Oh, it is this one. Uh, depends if there's a big cinematic like there was in the zero. I don't think there is. So we'll, we'll just find out, I guess. I might tape this entire thing as one episode, and then if I have to, split it up by injecting. Uh, See so you guys next time, which I've done plenty of times. There are plenty of uh, episodes throughout my like seven or eight years of doing this where I've just didn't know if something was going to end there, so I, I just tape it normally. And I'm like, ah, crap! I missed my timing really well. I actually record a. I'm Phil the Blacks. I'll see you guys next time. That's actually how I do um, the Phoenix Wright games, uh, which will be uh, my next uh, let's play. Uh, but if you ever go back and watch them, uh, I suddenly go, like... And it's really quick, too. Like, oh, my gosh, I hope we get the murder next time. I'm filled by bye. And, like, there's still, like, text almost kind of going. It's because I record the entirety of um, a chapter in one go. Like like a trial bit or a, an investigation bit. Because I have no idea how long it's going to take to get to one. So what I do is I tape the whole thing. And it's like, oh, this is an hour long. I can make this into three episodes. I'll go in there and actually cut up audio. Uh, to make it make sense, like, where I end and stuff like that. You know, just for fun. Now you know. Damn it. I... Frostwall sucks because you basically have to get hit by him. Because of the way he just kind of does the stupid little <laughs> go-to-cross thing. But whatever. Still fairly easy. What if I can... Oh, well, right now. 
Damn, bam. How many was that? Was that five? Yeah, that's five. Four more to go. Or three more to go. Jeez. Counting. Counting is difficult. Not very good at it. Oh, nice. Nice and easy. Still gonna get hit. This is very, uh... You gotta get really close to hit with this, but... Fun. Ah, shit. There we go. The funny fight. <laughs> well, you can go through it without basically seeing him. You just hear him like, ah! You're like, stop coming down here then. Go somewhere else. I don't even, like, is his hitbox up there? Can I even get hit by him? Because I can hurt him. His hurtbox is up there, but is his, is his hitbox up there? I don't know. I, I've always found that fight to be just hilarious because of that. How am I doing for my weapon tank, anyways? Wow. Yeah, it takes a lot of those weapon energy things to, to fill up. And down. Two more. Split Mushroom and... Uh, who else? Split Mushroom and... Oh, Slash Beast. It should be Slash Beast. Slash Beast, not Splash Beast. Split Mushroom is really the only character who has a really, really small arena. Uh, what's your thing? There you go. Spoink. There we go. Any trip. Ah, shit. Come on, Phil. I don't know why I don't like rapidly shoot. It's not like I can waste any uh, uh, energy. Oh well. Almost dead. There you go. Poor guy. And last, Split Mushroom. Equip the uh, Lightning Web. I don't know if it stays on me from here, but I think when you teleport it, it goes back to your norm. Oh no, it doesn't. Good. Boing. Boing. The idea of a mushroom being a maverick is a little silly, but his design is still pretty fun. There we go. Easy. Ah, that was so stupid. Get rid of that one from the screen. There we go. Phew. That could have been really bad. I mean, not really bad. <clears throat> I would have gotten him on the next shot, but I don't want to deal with his clones or anything. The Sigma fight is fairly easy as well. It's all about knowing the weaknesses, obviously. <clears throat> it's not like Zero where you just attack him, attack him with various attacks. <clears throat> he does have specific weaknesses. And one more, maybe two more. No, there we go. <clears throat> that was all the uh, the refights, rematches. And the last time rematches will be a decent and fun thing to do in a Mega Man game. Or at least in the next game. Up we go. Fill up right quick. And C Sigma. Hello, Sigma. How are you? This is amusing. It really is, X. You're Sigma. Wow. You guess, guessed it right away. <laughs> My plan to keep Repliforce and the Maverick Hunters at each other's throats worked perfectly. Double did a good job as a spy. Why you? <laughs> Repliforce are the fools this time. Now all that's left is to destroy Earth with the very weapon they made. No, I'll never let you do that. Try hard, X. Your life depends on it. And no cinematic. Oh, is there a cinematic? Nope. I guess I'm just in the next level. So pretty easy. Uh, just like the, um, the fight with uh, Zero, it's the upper rising flame, whatever it's called, rising fire. That is his weakness here, and then lightning web. Are you ready for your final journey? I am. Where are you gonna be? Right there. Where are you gonna be? Right there. Yeah, just as easy. Except you know, you you're not gonna get like accidentally hit by him with with your own body. I don't think Zero can get hit like when he's uh 
uppercutting him with his fire uppercut or whatever. Very easy, boss. I don't know if this does more damage, but might as well try it out. Oh, dang! Alright, that was pretty cool. Get lightning web going. Uh, light yeah, lightning web. <laughs> you are very good, X, but not for long. You won't be able to evade this attack. This one specific attack. Pretty much the same as before. You know, he does do a couple different things, but nothing, uh, nothing crazy. Ah, whoops. No, oh, whoops, I can't go through my own lightning web. I'm so stupid. And... Done. Yeah, super easy. Um, trying to think of what his weakness is for, uh... The last two forms. One is, um... Ground Hunter. What is the other one? Oh, the, the double thing. Yeah. So I have to pay attention to what I'm using, and depending on where he's gonna be. Love that design, though. Very cool. <laughs> Feel my incredible power. Drown in the empty vastness of space. With terror. You, are you are finished. I love it so much. All right, who are you going to be, buddy? Okay, so that's... Uh, ground Hunter. You can only get hit when he starts actually doing something, which is really weird. Oh, God. Spikes! Whoa, that took a lot. Okay. Good to know. Oh, I did not get a lot of hits on him there. Ah, I hate it so much. Oh, well, I'll probably have to use a sub tank for this guy. That's, that's fine by me. Ah, shit. Ah, I'm so bad at hovering. There we go. I feel like you can kind of cut hover for a second to hit him with it, but ah. He's positioned in a really, really kind of weird way. Oh, look how close I was to getting all my things. But whatever, not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. I do not care. Alright, you again. Alright, not too bad. We're just about there. Ah, I can't even get to him that way. Could be a different weapon to use for that. I just don't know what it is. Ah, damn it. Oh, good gun. If one of them's dead, it just repeats the other one over and over again. I still, I think, no, it doesn't even do the um, other things, I guess. Ah, I'm so bad at this. He has so much life, too. You know, it'd probably be better if I just use my regular crap for him, now that I think about it. Yeah, yeah, it still goes through the three heads there. Now I'll just use my regular, uh, stuff. Yeah, that does, that does something at least. He doesn't have a, a lot of uh, invincibility time, you see him now. Yeah, not at all. Feels like I hit, hit him all the way from over here, so that's pretty cool. As long as you're not on the ground when he does this, the end thing, you're, you're pretty much good. There we go, and... Dead. Bam, there we go. Pretty cool. Just under 20 minutes, though we had stuff with Krantz and stuff. <laughs> What's so funny? This weapon is aimed straight at Earth already. No one can stop it now. Damn. <laughs> Goodbye, X. 
Sigma laughs a lot. He's a very happy villain. But there we go. Sigma's down for the fourth time. Fifth, I guess, if you count X and Zero's campaign. Anyways, just like before, go over here. And General will take out the final weapon for us. Good old General. General, the weapon can be stopped with my body. But then you'll... Many of my men have died. As their leader, I must leave with them. X, please forgive our foolishness. General! And then I love the whoop downwards. <laughs> it's very funny. But yeah, that was Mega Man X4 for the second time. Again, thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Here is the final cinematic for X. You're safe, X. I was really worried about you. Sorry about that. Don't worry. It's all over. Go home and rest. You've earned it. But Zero... What... What if I become one of the Mavericks? Don't ask such silly question. I'm breaking contact now. Wait, Zero! I'm... I'm serious! Zero, if... If I become a Maverick, you have to take care of me. Don't be ridiculous. Now hurry on back. Promise me. Zero. Would have been very nice if they didn't, like, get the voice of a little girl to voice X for a, such a dramatic scene. Um, but yeah, X being worried that he might become a Maverick one day uh, is, is a really interesting one. Uh, it's, it's, it's a really cool idea, and it's something that they kind of kind of get into in one of the games uh, not to spoil anything but uh, it's 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 just a really cool idea the idea that zero has to make a decision blah 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 uh, that is many games from now though we will deal with that when it appears um, but I like I like X's like ending in a way because if this was canon that means Iris is still alive because if zero sits his ass down and doesn't do anything this entire time, that means Zero doesn't fight her on the final weapon, and that means she's still alive. It sucks because Colonel's still dead, um, but still, I mean, actually, does he? It was his, yeah, he was dead. Um, but you know, it doesn't really matter. Iris never comes back. Colonel never comes back. Um, as much as I bitch about X Five, X Five does bring in characters that actually stick around for the rest of the series, which is very cool. Um, X One, Two, and Three, and Four don't really do that. Doctor Kane is in Number One and Two. I think he's mentioned in number three a little bit, um, but he's not even in this one. Like, is he is he dead? Is he too old? Because like, I feel like the X Games go through a lot of different um, like like the timeline's very vast. You know what I mean? They're robots. Who knows how long these guys have been around? Yeah, Mega Man X Four might be like eighty years after Mega Man X One. I have zero idea. There probably is. There probably are people who know actually where the the timeline is set and that kind of thing. But anyways. Thank you so much for, for joining me again. I know it was weird to play uh, basically the same game I just did already, but with a different character. And and I don't normally do that. Um, just the Mega Man X games are so short. You know what I mean? Uh, if you ask, if you're going to ask if I'm going to do that again with um, uh, when I play Mega Man and base, I'm not going to. I'll just play that game through with base because he's so different from Mega Man and there's no real story. Um, that differentiates the two. There's collectibles, but that's basically it. Uh, but anyways, thanks so much, guys. Oh, okay, we're not done. It says all Capcom staff. You think it'd be over from that? Just general producer because his last his last name. Psh. All right. Anyways, guys, I'm Felmo Blanks, and I'll see you guys next time. How long are these credits? <laughs> Damn it! Is that it? All right. Thank you for playing. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm Phil Blanks. I'll see you guys next level. All right. I forgot there's always stuff at the end. The battle hasn't ended, yet somehow X doesn't feel quite right. What caused all those rob robots to turn into Mavericks? Will it happen to me someday? Has X just realized this tragic his tragic destiny? It appears that X will have to solve this mystery one day soon. 
I always forget about the last damn thing. Oh, look at another achievement. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this playthrough, and remember to hit that subscribe button to see what I'll play next. Big thanks to my patrons who are supporting me, it means a lot. If you'd like to support my channel, share my videos with some friends, or consider visiting my Patreon.